This video will guide you through the steps for depositing research in RShare, Toronto Metropolitan University's Institutional Research Repository. Start by logging yourself into your account with your My Toronto MU credentials. Whether it's your first time activating your account or not, you will begin in your My Data section. While you may choose to explore the projects and collections areas later, today we will focus on uploading a single journal article. Click on Create a new item. This will bring you to an empty template ready to be populated. Locate the file you wish to upload and either drag it to the rectangle at the top of the page or use the red link to browse your system. If applicable, you may drag multiple files at once and you can choose to save them individually or grouped together. If you do not have a file to upload but wish to list your article as metadata only, click the Metadata Record Only radio button. Fill out the journal information including title and all named authors. If your co-authors also have our share accounts, they will be listed with their email addresses. What is most common is that your co-authors are either listed as inactive or you will need to add their names manually. You will also notice that several fields have green dots next to them which indicates a required field for publication. If you have an issue publishing your submission, it may be that you have missed one of these fields. Select the correct category for your scholarship. There are no limits to the number of categories you can choose, but you must choose at least one from the drop-down lists provided. Try to tag as many applicable categories as you feel is appropriate for your work. Similarly, select the appropriate item type for your work. As you can see, there are many options available to you. Keywords can be daunting, but they are vital to the discoverability of your scholarship. Each submission must carry at least one keyword tag, and the more tags you provide, the greater number of searches your paper will appear in. Try to select tags which are distinctive and descriptive. The description field is populated by an abstract from your paper. You likely have this already, from when your paper was submitted for publication, but if not, use descriptive terms to summarise your research. This is another vital tool in ensuring your paper's discoverability. The next few fields are optional, including a space to list your funders, if applicable. Depending on the terms of your Creative Commons license, you may be required to link to the original publisher's website, so add the resource title and the resource DOI. If you are not sure where to find the DOI, it will often be listed on the paper itself or on the publisher's website. Enter it here with a number which begins with 10. You may also choose to include reference or related content. Very importantly, your license must be accurate to avoid legal complication or a takedown notice. Be sure that you know what license your paper requires. If you are not sure, look for tags on your paper or consult the Sherpa Romeo resource to see what license is needed. If you need further assistance with your license, please contact the RShare team. Other optional fields include fields for editor, contributor and language. Once you have completed your form, click the Publish Radio button and save changes. This will add your paper to the moderation queue, where a member of the RShare team will approve your submission expeditiously. You will not receive a confirmation email on submission, but will hear from us if there is an issue or when your submission is live. You may also choose not to publish your paper yet, but leave it unpublished in your account until you are ready to complete or adjust your submission. In this case, simply click Save Changes without clicking Publish. For any questions, please contact the RShare team at rshare.library at torontomu.ca. Thanks for watching.